Few vehicle types have been as stigmatized and stereotyped as minivans. Derided by some as soccer mom mobiles that are about as uncool as a polyester leisure suit, minivans have managed to maintain a strong place in the overall car market, largely on the basis of their versatility. If you want to transport a large family, you're hard-pressed to find a better and more efficient choice than a minivan. So in an effort to help you determine which minivan might be the best for your brood, we at Kelly Blue Book assembled a field of some of the most popular minivans in the country to determine the best of the best. The test included minivans offered by Japanese, Korean, American, and even a German manufacturer. It included perennial favorites like the Chrysler Town & Country, Honda Odyssey, and Toyota Sienna, plus a pair of newer rivals, the Kia Sedona and the Volkswagen Rutan. We did our best to make certain all vehicles had comparable equipment and were outfitted the way most buyers would choose them. Once they arrived at Kelly Blue Book, our editors put them through a series of tests and evaluations that simulated the way families would most often use them. And the family guys among us enlisted their wives and children for impromptu tests as well. Since we always consider safety to be important, we also rolled National Highway Traffic Safety Administration crash test ratings and safety equipment availability into our overall scores. In the end, we came to a conclusion on which of these minivans is best in class and how others stand in comparison to that leader. Counting down from vehicle number five, we'll describe our reactions to them individually, culminating in the minivan we at Kelly Blue Book feel is number one. The Kia Sedona is a relative newcomer to the segment, and though it was fifth ranked, our testers generally had good things to say about it. Several called it a good value and noted how similar many of its features were to those of the Honda Odyssey, though not as elegantly executed. The roominess of the third row seating came in for special praise, and several testers were favorably impressed with its power and handling. Opinions were more negative regarding its bland exterior styling, though and there were also complaints about its cheap-looking plastics that made the interior seem generic and dated. For example, one tester said the rotary climate control knobs appeared to be inspired by play school. The Kia Sedona definitely didn't have the best styling out of the group of minivans that we test drove. It definitely is in need of a refresh. However, for the price, uh, the safety equipment that you get and the amount of airbags that you get in the Sedona make it a terrific buy for anyone that really values safety while on the road. This may be a controversial opinion, but I think that the Kia Sedona handles and rides the best of the bunch. And yet it's one of the cheapest. I, I don't know how that works. But it, I, thought it, I thought it handled quite nicely, especially on the curvier sections of our test route. And uh, the suspension was compliant. The ride was recently comfortable. Um, controversial opinion, but I liked it. The Sedona garnered high scores for its low initial purchase price, but it fared far worse in resale value, an area in which Korean brands still suffer. Its five-star crash ratings in most areas and its availability of safety equipment stood it in good stead in that important set of vehicle attributes. But in the end, that was not enough to offset the feeling that the Kia Sedona is a so-so copy of the best minivans in the field. It is certainly worthy of consideration, especially if you're cash-strapped, but we think there are better choices. Chrysler invented the minivan and has been riding the minivan way for two and a half decades. So it might be surprising to some that the Chrysler town and country didn't finish higher than fourth in this face-off. But most of our testers reached the conclusion that the town and country's innovative features, like its serious backseat TV and swivel and go seating, don't offset its average ride and handling and somewhat questionable build quality. Several of our testers were favorably impressed with the town and country's straightforward dash layout and its easy to understand controls. And there was also praise of its hidden in-floor storage from one of our testers, though we were afraid to ask why. The purposeful exterior design also won some kudos. On the downside though, there was the consensus that the third row seating was confining and most of us had niggling questions about the long-term durability of items ranging from the navigation system to the ignition lock. Without a doubt, if the kids are picking the minivan, it's the Chrysler Town & Country or it's a Dodge Grand Caravan sibling. The, uh, the uh, 
two uh, screen entertainment system um, with the uh, TV. Uh, you can put the table, the swivel seats. I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer for a for the kids. That's the number one minivan out there. I'm a bit conflicted on the Chrysler Town and Country in that, on one hand, it's got these great features like a built-in child booster seat and dual DVD screens, and there's just a lot of really cool technology in it. On the other hand, the suspension is overly soft, and it leans in the corners kind of like you're navigating a boat, and uh, I think based on our long-term experience with the Dodge Grand Caravan, which is its sister van, I'm a little bit concerned on long-term reliability. On the safety front, the town and country features multiple five-star crash ratings, and it generally offers good availability of active and passive safety equipment. But the lack of available side impact airbags sent it down the safety list. While fuel economy is good, resale value is just middling. In short, we think tighter quality control and attention to detail would vault the town and country toward the top, but right now, other choices outdo it. If the Volkswagen Rutan has a familiar look about it, there's a reason. After years of selling a number of small vans it built itself, including the legendary Microbus, Volkswagen has decided to offer a revamped and rebadged version of the Chrysler minivan as its latest offering in the category. The results of this decision, frankly, are mixed. Several of our testers were impressed with the changes VW wrought in the Rutan's interior versus the interiors of the Dodge and Chrysler minivans. The dash materials and the Napa leather seats came in for special praise. But others suggested that Volkswagen didn't go far enough in distancing the Rutan from the Chrysler products. And several lamented the absence of cool Chrysler engineered features like the swivel and go table. There was a similar dichotomy when it came to judging driving characteristics. Several of our editors praised the Rutan for having tauter handling and a sportier persona than the town and country. But others thought the driving dynamics were just average for the category, and this is a category where ride quality and quiet are probably more important than sporty handling. The Volkswagen Rutan is a minivan for the person that wants to drive a sedan but finds that in this stage in their life they need to drive a minivan. It is definitely the minivan for someone that needs a suspension that's a little bit uh, more sporty, that wants steering that's a little bit more engaging, and would like something that looks like the town and country of the Dodge Grand Caravan and offers many of the amenities that they offer, but is a little bit sportier and more German. What I like about the Volkswagen Rutan is that it takes what I like about the Chrysler Town and Country and, and moves it up a couple of notches. The uh, interior surfaces have a nice soft feel to them. I think aesthetically the uh, layout of the interior is a bit more appealing and the exterior design I think is far more attractive. Then again, it's still a Chrysler Town and Country at heart, so I have some concerns about long-term reliability. And I won't be the first to mention the fact that the surround around the sunroof started to collapse on us. As you would guess, the Rutan suffered in the safety department with the same absence of side impact airbags that marks the other Chrysler built minivans. Otherwise, safety scores were high, and the Rutan also scored high marks in fuel economy and resale value, helped in the latter by its Volkswagen brand name. When all was said and done, we believe the VW Rutan is worthy of consideration, but still falls short of the top spot. Several of us thought the Toyota Sienna might be regarded as the sleeper in this hotly competitive segment. While the Chrysler and Dodge vans and the Honda Odyssey are much talked about, the Sienna goes on its own way doing pretty much everything a minivan should do and doing it very, very well. While it was arguably the least engaging of all the minivans we tested as a driver's car, we think its cushy ride quality is perfectly in keeping with its function as a family hauler. The available all-wheel drive system also gave the Sienna an all-weather versatility most other minivans lack. And we appreciated the creature comforts that included nice touches like a sizable moonroof and a notepad holder in the center console. The Sienna's conservative exterior styling didn't draw much praise, though. In fact, one tester likened it to a medicine capsule filled with tiny time pills. But its interior style and the quality of its seating in all rows won accolades. So did the high-mounted controls that are marked with huge print for easy legibility. The big surprise of the group for me was uh, the Sienna. I've driven it before, 
and I thought it wouldn't do um, you know as well in this comparison. But it was solid on all fronts. Um, you know, its real shortcoming to me is the interior is dated. You know, it's it's pretty high quality, um, but the uh, just the design of the switches and the uh, the center console and you know things like that. It just kind of feels like you're you're driving a much older car than that Senate is. I wasn't sure what to expect with the Toyota Sienna, but I really found myself liking that vehicle a lot. Uh, I like the ride comfort of the Sienna. I like the way it was finished inside and out. I like the comfort and convenience features. And of course, when you talk about uh, Toyota, the build quality was terrific as well. So there was a whole lot to like about it. Uh, when you talk about styling with any of these vehicles, they all pretty much look alike except for the face. So I think Toyota has really got something here. In the safety categories, the Sienna fell short of most of the competitive vehicles in this comparison with a four-star driver's side crash rating rather than a five-star. On the other hand, the availability of comprehensive safety equipment is good. And when it came to price value parameters, the Sienna did well based on its high relative resale value and low fuel cost. Okay, it's hard to maintain suspense when the winner of the minivan comparison is so highly praised. We at Kelly Blue Book can simply add our strong endorsement to the other laurels that have been tossed at the Honda Odyssey. It truly is the best in its segment and by a large margin in our scorebooks. What makes the Odyssey so good? It's its uncanny ability to package a variety of creature comforts and awesome versatility in a vehicle that is both comfortable and involving to drive. This is no mean feat in itself, but the Odyssey also features stellar quality, laudable fuel economy, and second-to-none resale value. While several of our testers like the